Guys, so one of the things that I learned years ago is that a dog is as focused as you are on its ability to progress. What does that mean? One of the things that I try to focus on whenever I'm building something is making sure that I'm properly leading. What does leadership look like? For one, not being a know-it-all. For two, working with the people you're working with. For three, listening, learning, and being able to follow as well. So your dog, what does your dog want to do? I'm going to put this in front of his face. Out! I never told him to bite it. So he knows he should listen. What happens when I'm in a seated position, he actually plays a little bit nicer. He doesn't want to hurt me, right? And mind you, I'm stronger than ego. Can he bite and hurt? Absolutely. But I presented something to him. Out! And this is where we practice patience. Now what is patience? <laughs> Something that we all need to work on if I'm being honest. I am not the most patient person and I've had, to, oh my gosh, I've had to work very hard on being patient. Jamar is behind the camera. He's been threatened for real life at times. A lot of people have, if I'm being honest. And, and don't take, uh, we'll just put it like this. You know, Jamar isn't a big guy. I could walk through all the big guys. Doesn't matter. Here's one of the things I have focused on, worked on and want to focus on. Is there certain things I want to remove from my life? And part of that is uh, started a long time ago. Been on that journey for a long time. First thing you have to remove is pride. It comes right before you fail. Which means you have to listen. You have to be better. Second thing, you have to learn patience. Because not everybody is where you want them to be. And not everybody is going where you want them to go. Out! So we've seen ego at times do what? Get really riled up. And when he gets really riled up, he can no longer focus. So one of my, my tricks, this is just my trick, it's not a trick, it's just, I'm like, yo, let me work on his patience and mine. Give him a good target and then work on communication. So I'm not giving him a command, but I'm presenting an opportunity. He's an opportunist, <laughs> so he's like, well, since we, as you put it in front of my face, baby, I gotta do what I gotta do. The downside is, is because he's not been encouraged to do so, he says, okay, look, I know I shouldn't be doing it. So he actually tends to listen a little bit more, right? He's not wearing me out. Out! And what you already see, <laughs> you see a rhythm to it, right? And it's crazy because, Again, you've watched the videos where he's not done the best in terms of his outs. Whose fault is that? It ain't his. It's mine. It's a user error. So, instead of me coming out here and expecting him to do what I need him to do, he needs some one-on-one -on -one time and attention. He needs us to begin to be better. He's looking at me like, please say so. Please say so. Please say so. And I'm like, not right now, man. And because, again, I didn't give him his, his, his command, it's actually easier to uh, get him to out. <laughs> because now he's like, I shouldn't be doing it. But again, it's kind of like when you're doing protection sports or protection work. If the decoy stays still and you tell your dog to out, the dog should out. If the decoy moves, the dog is fair game. Let's do it again. Out! And he's a slick bugger. So he's like, I'm gonna get closer this time. <laughs> Eagle's a smart dog. Let me get closer this time. Present it again, boy, I'll bite your balls. <laughs> Ain't gonna be none of that, buddy. Nope, back up. <laughs> and he understands me. This is like talking to a human, if I'm being honest. And he's smart, so he knows what he's doing. Man, I tell you, this dude is, is he's, he's, he's an interesting character, people. So, <laughs> see that thing? Was that it, that it, that it? He knows what I'm saying. What are you doing? Look at you. I think he'd be massaging his teeth too. I think his teeth kick a little bit. Hey man, you heard me. You, hey bro, you better go on. You already know I'm not playing with you. You haven't been giving no command. And I tell you, man, I, if I were you guys, you know, people see ego sometimes, they get a little scared. If I was you guys, I'd be scared too at times. He looks like a demon. No, no, hey, brother, I presented myself, not you. You know better, man. 
my job is to make sure my dogs understand me more than anybody. And we're going to spend some time tightening some stuff up, which is going to require more work. Look at that mosquito on your leg, man. That mosquito's about to bite you. Hey, hey, hey. Move, move, move. Out! Sit. Goodness gracious. I wasn't even trying to. Look at that. Look at that on his head. Look at that head. Look at that on his head. Hey, out! Look at that mosquito. <laughs> you talking about making sure you get that, uh, them, them dang going. Oh, look at Marcus itching now. <laughs> you can't see. He's like, this. hold on, there's one on my head. <laughs> you know, you see a spider or something, you're like, hey, you get itchy all the Hey, what, what's that? But <laughs> well, you know what, man. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Back up, brother. Hey, move, move, move. Nobody told you to do nothing. What I love about dogs, and I saw a quote that Dr. Karen Becker posted, and I, I'm paraphrasing it, they'll teach you more about your humanity than human will at times because they don't know anything other than love. Some of them do know hate, to be clear. Some of y'all, some people are breeding some very dangerous dogs. That's the truth. But for the most part, they know more love than we'll probably ever know if we're being honest. And ego, along with others, man, they're teaching me so much about myself. So, people, stay tuned, take care of your dogs. The point of this particular video is to make sure you're practicing patience. You didn't, I mean, my tone's where it needs to be. I'm not yelling, but I'm making sure I'm projecting. He's doing a good job because he knows he's not been given a command. And then what we start doing, we start working through his commands. Have him do this, have him do this, have him do that. And you know what this does? Gets us closer, gets us more clear, and even more importantly, protects him at all times in case he is off leash somewhere which he shouldn't be and he's doing some work and somebody gets scared you say hey buddy go down down sit stay lay whatever the case may be guys take care of your dogs as always tfit here with fit bully tv signing off people